fun activity to do indoors when uh, you can't garden outside or even during the summer when your garden's flourishing is to grow your own sprouts. Uh, sprouts are very nutritional, they're, they're great for you, and they're super easy to grow and you don't have to buy them at the grocery store. You can actually grow your own and have a wider variety of sprouts to choose from than just the alfalfa sprouts that they've got in the, the, the produce section at the grocery store. So really fun, very easy to do, and it's something you can do just right in your kitchen window or it doesn't even have to be in a window because we don't need a whole lot of light to get those sprouts to germinate and to grow really well. So basically what you need to start off with is something to germinate your seeds in and uh, this is a this is a sprouter and it's a, a, a four tray sprouter and it's got a little bottom there as well too and uh, it's so easy to do as a child I actually um, we take a mason jar and we had just a, a standard ball lid that would go on the top but we had a screen on it that was just cut the right size to, to fit that bottle and so with that screen and that lid we'd actually do the sprouts inside the jar and uh, we'd lay the jar on the side so it, it can be very very inexpensive but you can buy a little system like this which is nice because you can do four different kinds of seeds or four of the same thing and have them going at different times and it's like super easy to do so you can use the lid for storage when you're sprouting uh, I don't I don't use it that much I, I won't like snap it completely on I'll just like place it over the top of the lid just to kind of help retain the, the, the moisture in there but I won't put the lid on uh, on tight you just leave it on but you've got four different trays that will drain water down through the tray so there's little teeny tiny holes all the way around the outside of the tray and uh, what it will do is it will just retain the right amount of moisture to get those seeds to germinate but then allows all the excess moisture to drain through and it will eventually drain down into your bottom tray which which will hold uh, you know all the all the excess water what you really need to do to have great success starting seeds and you know, sprouting seeds is to make sure and rinse them twice a day so once in the morning once in the evening and uh, by rinsing those seeds you'll have that that little bit of moisture that's on the seeds all the time and with the warmth that's inside your home those seeds will sprout in just a couple days and it depends on the variety of seeds that we're doing but it's really easy to sprout those and get those going so I've got four different kinds of seeds here that we can sprout so traditionally everyone likes to do alfalfa alfalfa is really common you see it on on all kinds of sandwiches Sandwiches and, and uh, salads and you can do alfalfa sprouts for all kinds of different things so you don't want too many seeds in there but uh, usually about, uh, about a tablespoon is what uh, works quite nicely so we've got alfalfa seeds in there one that I like to do is radishes because the radishes have a nice have a nice flavor to them and the radishes the, the radish sprouts taste just like radishes so it gives a little bit of, of zing to uh, whatever you're using them on so a little bit of, of radishy flavor and uh, those work really well. Uh, broccoli is a real common and uh, easy variety to sprout and so uh, they've got great antioxidant uh, value in them. The, the broccoli very tasty uh, it's got that, that nice kind of tastes like the stem of the broccoli but uh, very very nutritious really healthy for you and very very easy to do and last but not least, if you want to do something fun, um, you can sprout all kinds of herbs. This is a this is basil, so a little basil seed. You can sprout that, and uh, what a great complement to uh, a, a sandwich or a salad. And uh, the nutritional values there, but then you get that great flavor from the basil as well too. This is a purple basil, so it'll be colorful as well as tasty. So kind of fun, kind of fun to do. So you take all those seeds, and you can just like stack them one on top of the other. And I like to since it takes a while for them to drain through I don't like to put too much water in there so I'll actually use my my bottom tray my catcher to put the water in there that's going to rinse the the seeds and you don't want to fill it up all the way you just want to fill it up part way and then just take it and just pour it into your top tray and then just gradually will filter down through all the layers of the seeds and and gently moisten them and uh, prepare them to sprout and uh, with most of these seeds it doesn't take very long for them to sprout so you can see the water is dripping down through if you can see all those little all the little uh, drips that are coming through the holes just slowly that water will drain down from from layer to layer to layer and then gradually collect in the bottom then the water that's down the bottom don't rinse the seeds again with that water take it and discard it and then use, use fresh water every time 
once your sprouts are ready to go, you can start eating them. But the best thing you can do is to rinse them with clean water. Uh, sometimes if you're afraid of possibly having a little bit of bacteria growing in there because they've sat in there too long, rinse them with just a little bit of peroxide as well too. So a, like a tablespoon of peroxide in a pint of water and then just rinse those off and the peroxide will take care of any bacteria that may have started to grow in the seeds. Put them in a baggie and uh, and, and put them in the fridge. So just, just put them in a plastic baggie and put them in your fridge and they will last for many days if not a week or two in the fridge before they start to go bad and uh, once they start to sprout that's when you want to use them so this is what the sprouts look like so those are radish sprouts right there and they are um, they are delicious to eat and they taste just like radishes so um, after about oh with the radishes it's about four days you'll have sprouts just like that ready to consume and ready to eat so so simple so easy to do just make sure once you get those sprouts growing because your broccoli might take longer than your radishes to, to to germinate and to actually sprout so once they really start sprouting and start filling up the trays and they will fill the trays up they'll they'll fill up the trays it'll look, it'll look just like that once it fills up those trays you want to get those out rinse them really well and get them in the refrigerator so you can enjoy them and, uh, and, and have them for, for many days. So super easy to do. We've got all the supplies, all the seeds, and we've got the sprouters here at Anderson Seed and Garden. We'll be glad to show you how to be successful growing sprouts in your own home.